needs to be aware of that. Nice head kick, oh. and he's wobbled it. Oh, wow. he hurt the champ. Oh, that was his moment. Costly mistake there by Kvilichkovic. My goodness. To the fallen we make mistakes. I paid hard for it because I think I can do better. Whoever they have next for me, I will come and win the fight. Win the fight. I will be a big surprise for him. Elitní Bojan Veličkovič se vrací do akce. He's fought in UFC. He fought against Yuri and beat him. He believes in himself. Believe in his dream. Oh! And the body shot. Can Bojan Veličkovič get the finish here? Nepostaví se mu nikdo jiný než další stálice špičky veltrové váhy oktagonu. It don't count who is the opponent. I could prove that how good I am. Mate, get there! I want to become a champion. I came ready. It's more dangerous, more like finishing power. I will just come with my pressure. It could be the most important fight in my life. Dojde i na pikantní slovenskou bitvu dvou džimů. Mně myslím si, že je tak zkusený jak já, či bojovo, či tréninkovo. Myslím si, že nám bude chtěť ukončit a já jeho těž. Ten kroka může padnout z mojej strany. Pojďme si tvrdo potom. Prevalcovat ho v každém směru. To bude můj plán. plán. Bývalý šampion Mateusz Legersky se vrací s jediným cílem dostat se zpátky do titulového mixu lehké váhy. Musí projít přes oscíleného českého bíce Matouše Majty Růstra Kohouta. Octagon Prime 5. Lístky v síti Ticket Portal a živě na octagon.tv. Zdeněk Polívka versus Alex Lohore. Zdeněk Polívka jede jako utržený vagón vstříc svému ambicioznímu cíli dopracovat se k titulovému zápasu ve střední váze. Fenomén, který se nám rodí přímo před očami. Nejprve poslal do důchodku Erika Spicelyho a krátko na to porazil i Roberta Bríčka. Game over! Oh! Rastě na před očami nová velká hvězda Octagonu. Teď před ním ovšem stojí další nebezpečná výzva, která by vstupenku k boji o pás mohla výrazně přiblížit. Ducky Lakit, Alex Lohore, další výrazně zkušenější polívku v soupeř, získal skalpy už 20 bojovníků, z toho většinu z nich dokázal porazit před limitem. Najprve vydržel těžké trojkolové bitvy s Vémolom a Apollo. Potom porazil Tata Primeru. Ale si ukazuje, že to do kardio je opravdu fantastické. Alex Lohore má bezmezné sebavedomě a zkušenosti, které pozbyla vo velkých evropských organizáciách. Čeká nás rozhodně jeden z vrcholů turnaje Octagon 31. Bude pokračovat krasojízda českého borce, nebo bude zkušený francouz pro polívku tentokrát už přes příliš velké sousto? To uvidíme. Alex da Kila Kit Lohore Very 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 exciting fighter with a record of 20 wins and 7 losses yeah, I feel like he needs to update his nickname. This guy's 32 years old now, calling himself the Killer Kid. I think it's the Killer Man would be yeah. more, more, more like it. Coming out has has the full full high fight experience. Has fought massive shows. Been champions across Europe. Was a what a champion, a welterweight over in Bama back when uh, Bama was a thing in the UK. Has got big fight experience and puts on the show. You see, we have a showman here coming out in the mask, enjoying his walkout. 
You know, and it's uh, caused a bit of controversy in the MMA scene before as well. He's, he's not shy to say what he thinks, you know, and to play the bad guy. Found a new home, though, here at Oxygen. Enjoy, yeah. Enjoys competing here. Yeah, although he's only uh, one and two in Octagon, uh, crowd loves him. Uh, like you said, he's not shy. Uh, he loves to say things as they are. And in his last fight, he was able to uh, beat unanimously uh, Tato Primera. It was Octagon 22 last May. Yeah, so he's been off for a while, you know, I, obviously everyone with the pandemic's had a bit of a, a stretch, but, you know, hasn't competed for almost a year, about 10 months since May, if my uh, maths and calendar is correct. But Lahore here, just making final preparations in the Octagon prep point. Trains under Andrew Prescott and Vinicius Nascimento over at All Rounders MMA. Well-rounded, seen it all. You know, holding five world titles at welterweight, like we said. Has got some boxing experience and some tie boxing experience as well. And looks good and bigger the weight and middleweight as well. Has put on a bit of size since I last saw him, at least. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but funny thing is, for this fight, he weighed in at, uh, I think, exactly 84 kilos. But when he when he faced Carlos Vemola in, in the middleweight fight, he was only 82 kilos. Yeah, so, you know, transitioning to the middleweight yeah. division. Takes time. That takes time. I know that coming up from middleweight to light like heavyweight. Now I'm seeing a tasty 112 kilos, so uh, it's a bit different. I've made the transition in full, but it does take a little bit of time. And now we see Lahore's opponent making his way to the octagon. Zdeněk Polivka. Yeah, I thought I'd let you ever go at that name. I wanted to say it, but I wasn't sure. Zdeněk Pol Polivka. Polivka. Yeah, perfect. Polivka, game over. Has a slightly less experience in the cage. You know, only seven and four. Bit of a mixed record as well. Yeah, but he's a winner. It's not a huge winning streak. He's only won uh, two fights in a row, but he was able to beat Eric Spicely by TKO. And then uh, he was able to uh, beat Robert Bridgek uh, last November. Yeah, so both very, very solid wins. I mean, Eric Spicely, obviously an ex-UFC fighter, fought in the light heavyweight and the middleweight division. So, you know, very, very well. Uh, good, good cap in your uh, bow in your cap, if you want to call it that. A nice victory for him there. So not afraid of the challenges against more experienced opponents, and he definitely has that here. You know, taking on Lahore. Lahore, loads of experience, a world and wealth of experience. Only seven and four. Here is game over. Every time I call his fights, uh, I say that he reminds me a lot of uh, Milos Petrasek. Uh, who is a uh, fighter under Octagon MMA promotion who fights in a, in a light heavyweight. And uh, those are guys, I don't want to say from countryside, but, but those, those strong uh, guys from countryside. We call, uh, we, in, in England, we call it farmer's strength. Farmer's strength, it's yeah. It's got farmer's exactly, strength. Yeah, yeah. The young gun, 23 years old, in Polinka, Polinka, Polivka taking on Lohe or Lahore at 32 years of age. Big discrepancy in the record, but again... Again, Polivka is the favorite. Polivka the favorite. Interesting that from Tip Sport. And Alex, the killer man, let's call him Lahore. Ready to get this one started is Novotny. Dámy a pánové, pomalu se blížíme do finále. Toto je další zápas ve váze do 4,80 kg, 3 kola po 5 minutách. Gerd Richter, vaším rozhodčím v oktagonu. Pojďme si představit oba muže, které už velmi dobře znáte. Nejprve modrý roh. 32 let, 185 cm, 
84,4 desetiny kilogramu na váze. All Rounders MMA and Martial Art Academy. Po trenéry Andrew Prescottem a Viniciusem Nascimento. Má na svém kontě 27 zápasů, 20 vítězství, 16 ukončení a pouze 7 porážek. Šampion mnoha organizací dnes večer za Tip Sport tým v rámci Nedoda poháru a také za Anglii v modrém rohu. Alex Dakilakit Lohore! Červený roh, 23 let, 189 cm, 84,3 desetiny kilogramu na váze. Cage Warriors MMA tým pod trenérem Jiřím Čiberou. 11 zápasů, 7 vítězství a 3 ukončení, 4 porážky. Za HB Group v rámci nedolá poháru, ale především v červeném rohu. Trojka váhy za Česko. Zdeněk, game over! Polívka! Alex, Zdenek, you know the rules. Protect yourself at all times and listen to my commands. When I say stop, you stop. Fight hard, fight fair. Touch your glove if you want and sit back in your corner, please. You're the referee, Zdenek Polívka in the red corner. Alex Lohore in the blue corner. This is a middleweight fight. Polívka. The favorite down to tip sports only just not a big favorite uh, taking on lahore going to be interested to see how this one starts out no touch of gloves at the beginning like we said lahore i'm used to seeing him a welterweight he looks big and strong now let's see if he can carry this way well though you know that's the thing about fighting so you, you need to be strong because you need to be able to wrestle you need to do all those sort of things but lahore is more of a striker more flamboyant and it's hard to do that when you carry so much muscle mass. And he looks he looks big to me, you know, really, really big. Depends if he's carrying the weight well or not. Nice little head head movement though with a check left hook. Nice check left hook on the exit by Lohore. And blocking the inside kick. Nice from Polivka. That's the way how Polivka wins his fight. Just with the straight left. Just just with one two. Oh, nice, nice conversion there for that takedown. Again, that's where the strength might help now, though, with the weight and the increased uh, you know, muscle mass and the grappling. Yeah, yeah look help. at the size of his thighs. Yeah. Much thicker than, than what we are used to see. And he's here, here in the half butterfly. Okay, now in the full guard. Needs to be aware of submission attempts coming from the bottom, proper lift guard. Tiny battles going on here within the fight, circling the hands, controlling the head, trying to control the posture, searching there and swimming for an arm. Gets onto one hip. And Lohore passed the guard. He's right now in a health guard. Yeah, looking in control here now is Lohore. Good regain though from Polivka and gets back to his feet. Oh, and returned with the uppercut. Yeah, he's like that double jab uppercut. It's worked well for him so far. Oh, again, check left hook. Yeah, left hook of Lahore finding a home on multiple occasions. Just looks a little bit slow to me, does Lahore, compared to how I'm used to seeing him. Maybe again with and that he's got mass. he's got that weird uh, style of defending of uh, those combinations of of, uh, of Polivka. He's ju he just he just covers. Yeah. You can ra ra rarely see that in MMA. Yeah, puts the hands up like yeah. completely covers his vision. Yeah, yeah. And I feel that's why Polivka is throwing the uppercut, the double jab uppercut. You know, because it comes from a different angle and, and Lahore maybe won't be able to see it. Lahore bossing it now though, controlling the center, nice understanding of range. Not getting caught with the shots and combinations of Polivka. Ducks under for that double leg. Needs to Watch out for the guillotine. Watch out for the guillotine. Uses it to shuck him off, though. Lahore avoids that takedown attempt. I think he felt that guillotine and give up on the takedown. That's the best strike I've seen from Lahore. That left hook. He throws that quite well. And it lands every time. 
Charging forward with that jab, overcommits a little bit though, and Polivka doing well, but heavy hits. And Polivka big hurt! Hands. Big shot from the hole. And it's over. I'm not even really sure what happened there. Okay. Locked him with that right hand and finished up. Lahore here, getting that first round finish. So the matchmakers are on the uh, the the gam the bang makers, having Polifka down as the favourite. Lahore gets him out of there in the first round and crowns himself. I'm guessing that is uh, to do with the, uh, his African heritage. Yeah, well, when we talked about that, carrying all of that power uh, up to weight class, he, uh, he did. Yeah, obviously the power and size, he looked a bit slow to me, but when he landed, he landed heavy. And I want to see the uh, replay to see exactly what it was. There was a shot, something, something, something fell off uh, of Polivka. Watch it, I, I think it was a mouth, mouthpiece. This was a nice takedown. This was a beautiful takedown. Now almost John Jones-esque, how he goes up to the head yes. and then the knee tap. Good work from Polifka here, getting back to his And good feet. uppercut also. But... I'm not sure what finished the fight here. It was a cheeky shot that we couldn't quite see. There's a guillotine attempt. He let go. Yeah, now, this is where he was already hurt. Yeah, he was already hurt from something else before that, but that, see that right hand glanced over the top and just caught him back of the head a little while, well, behind the ear, not back of the yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was a you know, great finish from the whole But I would love to see the moment where he got rocked. Yeah, just before, before. this. Yeah. But once he smelled blood and he saw the damage, you know, Lahore really turned it up and got that finish. I realized that, uh, I realized that uh, Polivka is hurt uh, once he uh, tried to go for a takedown. Yeah. The big man himself, Andre Novotny, in the cage to make it all official. Dámy a pánové, známe vítěze tohoto zápasu. Po třech minutách a 25 vteřinách vítězí technickém technickým KO Dakilla Kid Alex Lore. Welcome back, Alex. What a performance. Prague, make some noise! The atmosphere in here is crazy. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming down. I hope you enjoyed the fight. Uh, Alex, I hope you enjoyed the fight. I'm just translated. But uh, I think you all understood you are a completely different man than I saw you last time. How is it possible? Hard training, man. Just train hard, you know. Um, I was upset a little bit because we didn't get into negotiation, so I just put my head down and focused on training, and this is what happened. Já jsem říkal Alexovi, že je neuvěřitelné, že to je úplně jiný člověk. Dnes jsme viděli naposledy, on říká, já jsem byl trošku naštvaný, že jsme zastavili vyjednávání o dalších zápasech. Sundal jsem uh, si tak říkajíc klobouk, trošku prostě srazil ten řepínek, dal jsem se do gymu, začal jsem trénovat to, tohle je výsledek. It was unbelievable, your front hand. Ma yeah, your jab, make that fight. Did you agree? Yes, yes, we've been working on the jab for a long time, even the right hand as well. And, um, you know, I didn't even get to throw the right hand a lot. I think I threw it once or twice. Um, yeah, the jab did the job. Uh, did you expect a fight like this in the stand-up uh, where you were just throwing punches with Zdenek? Yeah. yeah, we did expect that. We expected him to come forward and try to um, a fight and uh, bring on a fight. I didn't think he was going to shoot for the takedown, but he did because I think the striking was a bit too much for him. Uh, but yeah, it was a great fight. Ale říkám, nečekal jsem, že se pokusí o takedowny, protože uh, jsem viděl, že to je skvělý striker, ale také to zkusil, protože ta moje přední asi na něj už byla trochu moc a byl to plán boxovat s ním tou přední rukou. So Alex, well, where will you see you next time? It's gonna be welterweight again or you will stay here at middleweight? I think I'm gonna stay at middleweight. I think I, I, I like it, but it depends, depends, it all depends. But um, what fight, one fight that I want, maybe, if you wanna give it to me, 
would be the title show at Middleway, the winner of tonight's fight. Why not? <laughs> Maybe why not, but I can promise it. <laughs> That's it. <I laughs> but, but definitely you get the attention from Carlos, because Carlos was watching this fight from oh, the first yes. row. And he was, this, he was saying me before that fight, this is the fight what I'm carrying most. Now he's go to the studio, so let's see what he will say about. Because maybe Carlos is also the fight what you're looking for in middleweight. Yes, it would be great to have a second fight with Carlos. This time I'll be more prepared. As you can see, I have the weight now, so it's totally a different fight. Alex říká, tohle je zápas, který bych určitě chtěl, je ten titulový, anebo taky jsem navrhl možná odvetu s Karlosem. Přáli byste si odvetu s Karlosem, když ty vidíte Alexe? <laughs> Karlo sedí ve studiu, uvidíme tady. <laughs> Zdravíme, Karlose. Nice thief, man. <laughs> <laughs> Na Karlose, there is a long climb to Carlos Vemola, but... You can step in and maybe we will do it. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you. It was a pleasure to have you back and it was an incredible I, performance. Can I just say happy birthday to my little cousins, the twins. They are, I don't know how old they are today, but it's their birthday. I told them I was going to finish the fight. Well, les, les petits uncou, Warren, Melvin, happy, uh, joyeux anniversaire. Je vous ai dit j'allais finir le combat. Merci à tous ceux qui soutiennent en France, en Côte d'Ivoire, partout. Uh, big up to everyone in London that's watching. My missus, my kids, everyone, thank you, I love you, and we we'll see you soon. Dámy a pánové, Alex Lohore, jeden z vítězů dnešního večera. Octagon se konečně vrací do nejtvrdšího města republiky, Ostravy. A hlavní zápas nemůže obstarat nikdo jiný, než nespochybnitelný král veltrové váhy. V oktagonu neporažený a nejdéle panující šampion, David Růžový Panter Kozma. V Ostravě jsem doma, těším se na to hodně, budu tam mít svoje známé a v Ostravě zapasím prostě nejradši. A ten zápas půjdu 100% vyhrát. Ten se utká se svou Nemezis, která ho už jednou porazila. Legendou Petrem Monstrem Knížetem. Jsem tady pro toho, abych si vzal to, co mi patří. Myslím si, že budeme koukat. Chci napravit to, co jsem pokazil. Chci ho porazit a chci ukázat, že jsou lepší zápasní než on. Monster Kleci vám ukáže tuto novou bitvu, na kterou nezapomenete. Vždy je to tak trochu osobní. V tomhle případě je to hodně osobní. Konečně se dočkáme duelu Babi Jagi Mikuláška se slovenským tvrdákem Tomášem Bolem Melišem. Účty budou splaceny. Když to bude v postoji, tak ho sekněm. Když to bude na zemi, tak ho jednoducho ubijem. Ani jako, že pojďme si na hubu a pak budeme kamarádi. Ne, nebudeme. Já s tobou nechci být kamarád. Což Chris a ta strana? Buď mu utrhneme ruku, nohu, alebo jednoduchou mu odkročím hlavu. Bu. Poslední lístky v síti Ticketportál nebo živě na octagon.tv